Unit 2. You will hear part of a radio interview with Toby Lucas, a young chess player. For questions 1 to 7, choose the best answer A, B, or C. So, Toby, how did you get into playing chess? Well, I started playing with my dad when I was about 11, and I joined my club four years ago when my mom found an article in a local newspaper about the team from our local chess club winning a national tournament. My mom thought I would learn a lot from these guys. Now I'm one of the best players. All my opponents are much older than me, but I'm used to it because it's like that everywhere. Anyway, there are not too many players my age. Playing chess on the internet is very popular now, isn't it? Would you recommend that to new players? I used to play chess on the internet a lot, and it was good up to a point. But I don't anymore because I found my game wasn't developing. Anyway, there's nothing like the thrill of playing face to face. It's more exciting and more challenging. <laughs> Has watching the Grand Masters play helped to develop your game? Oh, definitely. Veselin Topolov is my favorite player of all time. He's an aggressive player and risks everything to win, and he doesn't mind sacrificing pieces if he has to. Sometimes I think he's going to lose, and then I'm really surprised when he wins. <laughs> so, what's the secret of your success? How do you decide which moves to make? When making a move, I normally go on intuition. I'll look at the position and say, which move looks comfortable to me? After that, I choose about three moves and analyze them. I play some variations in my head. What would the position be after three moves or five moves? I look at the plans of the opponent to see if I have to do something against them or not. There is no best way to play a position, it depends on the player. But most of the time, it's just a question of knowing when to make an aggressive move and when to play a defensive move. It comes with experience. Do you think you'll ever get to be a grand master yourself? At the moment, my ambition is to be ranked inside the top 100 players younger than 21 in the U.S. Chess Federation. I'm currently ranked in the top 150, but I don't see my future career in chess. Oh, why's that? Well, for one thing, I don't think I have the personality you need to be one of the top players. I probably could, if I really put a lot of effort into it, be a chess trainer, but it doesn't pay well. So it's better for me to play for fun. Experts always recommend that parents teach their children chess to help them learn about logic. Do you think that's useful? Yes. I think chess can teach you a lot of things. You learn how to read a person by analyzing the way they play chess. You find out what kind of person they are, whether they're creative or analytical. For example, some people's body language also helps you to see if they are confident or worried, but the best players are very controlled. Some people say that a game of chess is like the game of life. Do you agree with that? <laughs> no, I don't think chess is like life. I mean, in some ways, I suppose you could say it's similar. Many people set themselves targets and plan ahead for the future, for example. But in my mind, it's really important to separate chess and life because in chess, you can plan every move you make and you have a fairly good idea of what will happen next. And that's not true in life. Okay, we'll take a break now.